Hi everyone. So today I want to talk a bit about Glow Recipe. So I bought, um, if you have seen my old videos, I bought last year like a Glow Recipe uh, vault with a lot of products. And additionally to that vault, um, I got this product as a freebie, which wasn't part of the vault. And it's like the enzyme balm, cleansing balm. And then I additionally bought also the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops. So I thought... Okay, let's just try everything out. I, hit, I did have Glow Recipe products in the past. I had that cleanser before, and I had the sleeping mask before, and I had the um, pink juice moisturizer before. So, are they worth it? Well, if you do not want to watch the whole video to make it really short, no, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, the vault was um, a relatively good offer. Um, although afterwards they actually put that one on sale and was an even better offer, but I don't regret buying it. I think their products are not bad, but I think they're slightly overpriced for what they are. I mean, the products are not too bad. What? Um, let's just maybe go through by through. So let's go through that bounce cleanser, the blueberry bounce cleanser. It's a nice cleanser. Um, I cannot have it close to my eyes it made my eyes a little burn and um i also found when i had it i remember when i had it the first time i did not like it at all i mean this time i went on a little bit better with it it's a cleanser good for a second cleanse um i did not find it good i think this is why i hated it last time around because i used it as first cleanse cleanser trying to remove my makeup which is a big no it just doesn't work for that well and um for second cleanse it's okay but it's not amazing. And what I also find when it comes close to your mouth, it leaves a really weird taste in your mouth. So um, just be careful. It's just not... So I would not repurchase this one. Then I also used up a whole bottle of the um, full-size Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. And I also had um, a sample size of that one. I mean, the packaging is adorable. It's glass. Um, so you can take the dropper out droppers usually you can't recycle but then you can at least um, recycle the glass container which is good um, and the design of it is adorable it's really really cute i think they're they're kind of um saying they use all the technologies um, from korean brands but they are made in the us as far as i understand and um that's just so cute i mean that little sample size of the pineapple bright sea serum so cute it's also a glass bottle by the way with a dropper i did so thought though um it was a good serum, but it smelled really weirdly rank. It didn't smell like pineapple, more like gone off pineapple. So from that perspective, I wouldn't buy it. It was a good vitamin C serum, but the smell just put me off completely. And again, the price then. Now, this cleanser, I actually really enjoyed. The Papaya Sobe Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Really, really nice. It lasted even for quite a while, despite being such a small size, because you just need a little bit. And it was a very good makeup removing balm. But... I had other makeup removing balms before for much cheaper price, which do an as good job. So for that reason, from the price point, um, I would not repurchase this one. Now, I also completely used up the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. This wasn't really a souffle. It was more like a gel, like a jelly texture. So I found that quite misleading because I would have preferred a souffle because with the jelly texture, it's just sometimes an issue getting them out of the jar. I mean, you get like these little plastic uh, spoons um here one of these for example where you can scoop it out but it's because of the gel texture it just slips right off and it's a bit of a pain um i didn't think it did that amazing things for my skin as well and i used a whole jar so i used it for well over a month so from that perspective again it's a no for me then this one i actually quite liked it's the avocado melt retinol um sleeping mask um, avocado is quite good for your skin, also when you eat it. Um, it was a good retinol from the sense of that it didn't irritate my skin too much, which is good. Um, but again, it's just overpriced for what it is. I'm still... So now the rest... So this is all my empties already. So I literally have a good opinion about them because I literally emptied them up already. Um, the moisturizer I just used a few times, but I did empty a full size of that one two years ago. Um... It's a good moisturizer, but it's a very light moisturizer. So I would recommend that more for summertime. And if you have more mature skin that has more skin concerns, it doesn't do much, to be honest. So from that perspective, I would say, um, yeah, I cannot recommend it. It is actually made in Korea. But I thought it is a... Actually, here's that's a Spanish brand. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to say anything wrong about it. Um, I don't really know the background of the company. But yeah, again, the um, packaging is amazing. I like the pump on it. Um, 
I like the bottle, it just looks nice. I remember from the old moisturizer, from the full size I had, I actually washed the bottle out, cleansed it and um, used um, as a proper alcohol to disinfect it and used it for other things afterwards. For a few other things even, I, I used it several times until I recycled it. And I will do the same with that one when I emptied it. So again, packaging is amazing, but the product is just not worth the money. Then I still have some of the um, retinal eye sleeping mask, um, also avocado milk. From that you just need less because it's um, for the eyes. I used it a couple of times, um, but it will take me for quite a while to go through that. Um, I'm using not many retinal creams at my eyes at the moment because um, I have um, yeah, some eczema at the moment that flare up around my eye area, so I can't use retinols. But once I can again, I will use it again. It's 15 mil. What I also really like is they always have the expiry date on their products. What I do not like, because they have this nice design and this is printed on the front, but you often have the stickers like this on the back. And because it's not even, they always, um, they're not fully on. And then you can collect dirt in them when you have it in your bathroom. It's just, it's a bit of a design failure to me, for example. They should just print it on there or put it on the bottom or put it on the top. But again, cute design packaging, but not worth the money. Now, I also have the um, Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. This one I really like. I really like. And I think this is one of the only products I would consider actually repurchasing if I find it cheap on offer. Because again, the price point makes it not completely worse to me. But this is a really nice toner. Um, even with my eczema prone skin, I can use it. It feels nice and moisturizing on the skin. I do like that. And I use it once a day. Um, when I have flare-ups with my eczema, I try not to use it because um, it has PHA and BHA, um, yeah, it's some sort of acids, um, which I then, of course, wouldn't use. This is a really nice product, though. Then, is it worth the money, though? Again, no, by the way. Then I also have the um, Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Um, I used that earlier today, so it's still not completely separated again. It's like a bi-face um, face mist, so you need to shake it up. Um, this one was a bit of a disappointment because it arrived and um, the top bit was pink and the bottom bit was clear and then you shake it but the pink bit turned really quickly like within a week or two it turned um, yellow and a bit brownish and I even emailed Cult Beauty where I bought it and they said oh that's normal with the product it doesn't mean the product is bad it's at the moment in my project pan I marked it up there I'm using it a lot um, it's a really nice mister actually that mister I mean look at this so fine um really really nice um refreshing on the skin but it doesn't do anything i feel apart from refreshing to the skin i don't feel like um it does anything beneficial apart from yeah refreshing my skin so again i don't think it's worth the money at all then i also have the watermelon glow sleeping mask um, this one is nearly empty but not completely yet um so i'm still using that but as you can see it's actually really nearly empty i'm literally on the last bit i think i have like um two three more uses what i usually do is because it's also a really slimy um consistency um what i usually do is when it comes to that stage where not much is left i put it sidewards because it's a square container i put it like this and then everything settles um on the side but it won't run out um, it won't run out, it will just be here and then, um, actually let me put it down and I can show you at the end of the video and then it's a bit easier for me um, to get it out, but again I have very dry skin with my eczema flares up usually I have combination skin but when my eczema flares up, um, the last few months I had a few problems, very very dry skin and this one doesn't do a lot it leaves like a slimy film on the skin um, but it doesn't moisturize much which is a bit odd so that's a bit disappointment and this was just the weirdest product i used it a few times um this is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops so this is a bit odd um i thought it's maybe just a niacinamide serum which you use um under your normal moisturizer um the packaging again amazing it's like um iridescent whoopsie iridescent um glass bottle um pinky but when i looked at the video because i, I did try always to find out how to use products correctly. So the video of that one, how they sell it, um, is like she uses as last step and she seems like um, the lady who presents it in the video from the company seems to be like a no makeup person and she um, does all her skincare routine and then she puts that on as some sort of highlighter. But it is not a highlighter in that sense because it doesn't have any um, like iridescent particles or stuff like this in there. So it's just like a um, see-through pink slime um that then yeah is on your skin so it's more like 
if you use like a clear balm highlighter or something like this. But I wouldn't use it as a highlighter. I thought really it was like a niacinamide serum, which I would use under my normal moisturizer. So this is just a product that absolutely confuses me. Um, I will use it up though because I do like ni niacinamide. I have niacinamide though from um, The Ordinary, which is much, much cheaper for the amount you get. Um, so for that, this is, I think, this is my biggest regret from all of the products I bought because this was quite expensive and it just doesn't do much about from being maybe a good niacinamide serum. So yeah, that was just a bit odd. But yeah, actually, let's have a look. So yeah, here you can see um, the product settles down here. It's very slimy and fluidy and then I have it a bit easier to get it out. But that's overall. I mean, I learned my lesson. I'm glad I got everything on offer, but... Um, the only product I would probably repurchase from Glow Recipe would be this one. I'm kind of interested sometimes in their recipes, uh, when well, in their recipes, in their products when they bring out something new because they do bring out some cutesy, nice little things. And to be honest, that looks really nice having it in the bathroom. So their packaging is definitely on point for me. Um, but product-wise, it's just not worth the money. So I just need to remind myself: don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for me today. Bit of a rant. I'm sorry about that, but um, I just thought I'd give you a feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!